today I am doing this video to step into encourage encouraging others even as in this moment I feel like I need encouragement what came to me so strongly this morning as I laid in reflection and meditation is without the test there is no testimony and one of the things that I have found in my life is that more often than not, the things that we go through, we go through for other people. We go through to be able to share our story with others. And, you know, right now in this moment, there's quite a bit that's going on with me. And quite a bit to be worried about, uh, quite a bit to be confused about. But as I lay down this morning, I thought, I said, you know, if I don't have my faith, if I don't keep my faith right here in the front of me, I don't have anything at all. And so in this moment, I'm holding on to my faith with everything that's inside of me. And you know, we can't always see around the corner, but it doesn't mean that what we're looking for is not there. Sometimes it's necessary to go through certain processes on our journey of life. And many times in our life journey, we come to crossroads. And at those points, it's an opportunity for us to stop. It's an opportunity for us to look both ways, look ahead of us. Sometimes we need to look behind us. I'm a firm believer in living in the now and being present because all we really have is this now moment. All we can really be sure of is right now. All I know right now is that I am talking to you. I don't know what's going to happen in the next minute or the next five. But there are times when it's important to just glance over our shoulder at where we have been and what we have come through. And, and how we came through it. I was led to a program um, this morning on YouTube uh, by T.D. Jakes, a sermon that he had given, and the topic was, nothing that we have been through in our life is wasted, or something like that. And that message just touched me so much this morning. It was a message that I needed to hear and that's one of the things that I find in life. The moment that you need something, it shows up, you know. And if we don't have these opportunities or these times where we don't know what's going to happen or our faith is tested, we don't know what faith can do. You know, we we'll have no idea how we can truly speak to the mountain with a mustard-sized seed of faith and the mountain just removes we have no idea how effective we can be at speaking those things that we're not as though they are. We, have, we won't have the opportunity to experience that whatever we pray for, if we believe that we receive it, we'll have it. You know, so these things come about in life, you know, and we look at them as tests or challenges, but like I said, Without the test, there is no testimony, you know, and if you're not able to experience some things, then how can you relate to somebody who might be in need of an encouraging word? You, you are better able to reach them in their heart space when they know that you know, you, like you know, like you know what they're dealing with at that particular point in time. And so, I don't know if this is going to be the first and only video I do or if there are going to be more to come. But what I'm just feeling in this moment is that it's important for me to journal my testimony. So this is a testimony journal. And yeah, I'm not good at writing things down. I've discovered that about myself. But I believe that one of my main purposes in this life is to talk. I believe I was created to talk. <laughs> created to talk to people.
created to encourage people and help people to understand that there are brighter tomorrows, there are better days ahead, and everything that we have experienced in our life came to teach us something. And what makes it hard is when we miss the lessons or we don't pay attention to the lessons because you can't graduate or go to the next level. And so even as we look at the educational system and how there are tests at the end of courses in order to advance to the next level or to the next degree, I believe that life is very much like that. And so if today you are going through something, if you feel like you're really being tested and you feel like you're being tried and you feel confused and bewildered and you might even feel hopeless, you might feel lost, alone, you might feel like you're ready to give up. I want to encourage you, don't give up. You know, even as I encourage myself, because if I let go of my faith at this moment in time, I feel like I have nothing at all. And so take time today to look around you and Appreciate the beauty, appreciate the blessings that are in your life, even if it's only just two or three that you can think of today. Meditate on those and, and allow yourself to be grateful. Think today about the best thing that ever happened in your life. Whether it was the moment that your child was born, whether it was the moment that you got that call for that job that you were waiting for, or you sign the papers for your house or your car, or just sitting with your mother or your father, or you know, whatever it was. Think about a time when you were so happy and you were so grateful. And, and focus on that today and allow the feeling of gratitude to just overtake you. And apply it to where you are right now in this moment. I believe it's so important for us to encourage one another in those times when I am going through things, I find the best thing, and what helps me the most is being able to encourage somebody else. So that's what I'm taking the time to do today, is even as I encourage myself, I am reaching out to encourage you as well. And let's continue to encourage one another. Let's continue to be grateful for the things that we do have. Let's smile a little bit bigger today, even if it's something that we don't feel, but we're just setting the intention to do it. And take time to go outside and smell a rose or smell a flower or look at a tree, connect with a tree, look at a bird. <laughs> If you have animals, take time to just love them. There's nothing that can pick you up more than when you're, your pet animal, your cat, and dog, which is what I have, just come up and show you some love. So I hope for you to have a wonderful day, and let's continue to be encouraged.